Hey, 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 it's bedtime story time with A. Lawrence and the title of tonight's story is The Pamol Daughter. Sounds good. I like it. You like it? Let's read. Alright, here we go. There once was a very rich woman who lived in a village near the stream. She had a lot of palm oil trees. She and her servants would collect the fruits from the trees, they would crush it, they would crush out the oil, and then they would put it in jars. When the market price for palm oil was high, she sold it and made a lot of money. But though she was rich, the woman was not happy because she had no children. In the evenings, while the young men and women danced, the woman sat alone crying. How I wish I had a child. Oh, I feel so sad for her. Anyway, one morning, the woman went to the market with her servant to sell a few pots of oil. As soon as she had gone, a string thing happened. Some palm oil began to flow out of the largest oil jar. The oil went straight up into the air. And turned into a beautiful golden brown girl. And she sang this song. Pan oil flow, pan oil flow, money is wild, go, 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 What shall we do now, Manuba? They asked eagerly. Where shall we go? Manuba sang the song again. Palm oil flow, palm oil flow. Mother needs by wood, who will go? Who will fetch the water? Who will sweep the floor? Who will pound the millet? There's work for all four. The four girls immediately set to work. And when they had finished, all the girls went back. Their Again, creepy. When the woman came home, she was amazed to find all the housework had been done. At first, she thought that neighbors had helped her, but they said that they knew nothing about it. Creepy. The same thing happened the next day and the next. The woman did not know what to do. After last, the woman decided on what to do. On the fourth day, she pretended to go to the market, but instead, she hid outside her house to see what happened. As soon as she heard Maniva began to sing, she rushed into the house and seized her by the arm. My daughter, she cried, I have always wanted a daughter. Please stay with me. Manuba tried to escape, but in the end, she agreed. Alright, she said, but if I stay, you must promise me one thing. Don't make me cook or stand near the fire, otherwise I shall melt and change into palm oil again. The woman gladly agreed to this. A few weeks, they lived happily together, but the woman was foolish. She spoiled Manuba. She never made her do any work. Instead, she made the servant do it all. The servant became very jealous and discontented. Several weeks passed and the woman's servant grew more and more angry with Manuba. Why should I do all the work? Why she does nothing? She asked herself. One day, the woman went out to her farm. And when the servant saw that the woman was gone, the servant called Manuba. Manuba, come here and blow on the fire, or the food won't be cooked in time for supper. Oh no! exclaimed Manuba. If I go near the fire, I shall melt and die. Nonsense! exclaimed the servant. You are just too lazy. 
the servant caught Maneuver and dragged her towards the fire. Maneuver began to melt. Ah, oh, gosh. The servant tried to rescue her, but it was too late. You know, that's just a really wicked servant. Like, what the heck? I told you I'm gonna melt. Do not put me in front of the fire. Gosh. Maneuver melted away before her eyes. Very frightened, the servants ran away. In the nearby tree, there was a bird. And when the bird saw what happened, it flew down and dipped its tail in the oil that was on the floor. Then he flew away to find Maneuver's mother. Maneuver's mother was working on her farm. When the bird suddenly flew down, Oil is spreading across the floor. Maneuver's mother, Maneuver's mother. The lovely daughter is no more. Maneuver's mother, Maneuver's mother. To prove to you that my story is true, I've dipped in my tail and now I show it to you. That bird can be wrapped. I mean, that sounds sweet. Wrapping. And when she heard this, and saw the bird's tail. The woman ran all the way home. But she was too late. She only found a dark, wet stain spreading across the floor. And she never saw a lovely daughter again. and subscribe to my channel please share this video as many people as possible if I'm not new if I subscribe or if it's in the description below follow me on Facebook at Eddie Lawrence I promise you're gonna smile so have a great night bye bye